Hello, Divine Feminine. Welcome to my channel, Alchemy of Twins, with me, Kiki. This is a love letter from your Divine Masculine. He has some loving sentiments for you. Dear Divine Feminine, the yin to my yang, the feminine to my masculine, the moon to my sun, the dark to my light, the error to my truth, the faith to my doubt, the hope to my despair, my north star, my guiding light. The one whom God made for me, my mystical rose, my earth angel. The other half of my soul, my twin flame, my soul mate. I want to tie you down, tie the knot, and keep you forever so that you cannot get away from me. I don't want you to ever be able to get away from me. You're always escaping from me. Just when I think I have you, just when I think I'm going to be able to Move forward and make progress. You escape. You escape. You run. You flee. Why do you flee from me? Because you want things to be equal. You want me to be your 50-50 partner. You want to be my wife. You want me to take care of you. To make you feel secure in the connection. You leave when you don't feel secure. You flee when you, you run and flee when I'm not reaching out to you within two hours to two days. If I go beyond two hours to two days, you leave. If you're not feeling secure with me, you're done with me. For me to move forward with you and you not to flee, I have to, I have to formalize the connection. I have to make it official. Justice. I understand this now. I understand that to keep things moving, I have to make it official. I have to sign on the dotted line. I need to legalize the connection. And I love you. And I want to, I love you. I want to continue this journey with you. I want to go into uncharted territories. I want to draw down the moon for you. I want to look at every full moon with you and every new moon with you. I want to experience a deep connection, a deep psychic bond. I want to celebrate our love. I want to celebrate our love. I want to celebrate our love. I want to make it ceremonial. I want to celebrate every moon with you, every new moon and 
full moon and solar eclipse and lunar eclipse and I want to have traditions and ceremonies and rituals with you. I do want to make you my wife. I'm still figuring some things out for myself, especially around my finances. But I'm making progress. I think often of having you as my wife. You to me are, you are perfect. You are the perfect wife and mother. You are the most gracious queen, the most sensitive, sentimental, lovely, graceful, faithful, kind, generous, good, and I don't deserve you. <laughs> I have so many leaves to prune from my life. I have so much work to do and so much to still accomplish. So many virtues to cultivate, to get into your vibration, but I'm making progress. I'm succeeding. I'm moving forward. I'm feeling more confident now. Feeling more confident. I'm feeling like marriage is the next chapter. I'm feeling guided by the divine. I feel like I'm on the right path now. I feel like I'm going up the middle path of the Christic tree, of the magic tree of life. The Christic path of the magical tree of life. Up the center in between these two pillars. And that's where I want to go with you, between the two pillars, up the middle path, because I want to take us to great heights. I'm not satisfied with us going around and around on the earthly plane and meeting lifetime after lifetime after lifetime and having this constant struggle. I want to... I want a rich spiritual ceremony steeped in tradition that's going to take us to another plane of existence. To another plane of existence. I'm done with this life. This low vibrational frequency. I'm ready for the next dimension with you. I'm ready to say goodbye to the third dimension and dwell in fourth dimensional consciousness with you on this plane. I'm ready to say farewell and accept Jesus and, and let him show us the way, tell us the truth so that we can live in that light, be saturated in eternal life. So I'm being reborn, Divine Feminine. I'm being reborn here. I'm having a spiritual conversion so that I can be worthy of you because you deserve a man that can be your crown, that has God as his crown. If God doesn't crown me, I can't be betrothed to you because I have to ask for your hand from the divine. I have to ask the divine for your hand in marriage. And I'm, I wasn't worthy, but I'm making progress. I Now I know. I know that Jesus has to be my crown so that I can lead us so that I can lead us up that path, up the middle path, to great heights, to a beautiful land, to the kingdom of heaven on earth. 
where our love will will grow and bloom and flourish and we'll live in harmony and there will be wisdom between us and peace and love and our children will be happy and our our love will last forever that's where i want to take you to the fourth dimension and seal our commitment and dwell in that higher vibration that higher frequency with you where god watches over us and we're living under providential care so i am i'm really worried I'm really worried that I'm not going to make it in time that there's so many things that crop up and distractions and interference and people, places, and situations coming at me from every angle. It's like I'm never going to get there. I'm never going to get to you in time i feel like i'm not going to get to you in time like you you're going to leave and never come back you're not going to come back this time or you're going to find somebody else you're going to marry somebody else What gives me hope about this connection, though, in the midst of my darkness, because you are my light in the dark, the light that you send me that gives me hope, that, that I can get into the game and I can fight the good fight and I can triumph and I can continue to grow in virtue and strength that God will see me as one of his sons, a prince worthy of such a queen, and that I will be able to acquire you in nobility and honor. And that I will earn you fair and square from the hand of God. And that I will come out triumphant over the competition, over anyone who thinks they have a chance with you. But you remind me that I belong to you. This is something that I can't wrap my mind around. I don't understand that. I belong to you that you are mine, that you were created for me, that you're my North Star, my guiding light. You have so much faith and your faith is so pure. Your faith in Jesus and your belief in twin flames is beyond my own comprehension. Your faith inspires me, it inspires me to be your knight in shining armor, to be gentle and kind, to be more faithful, to put my faith in God even when I don't understand, to believe in what I can't see, to hope in what I can't comprehend. To try to understand what you know, to seek knowledge and wisdom, to learn, to study,
and to try to understand what you believe about us, our connection and twin flames so that I can be transformed so that my mind, I can be transformed, my mind can be transformed into a righteous man, a man worthy of a divine feminine. What I most admire about you, what I most admire about you, what I adore about you, what I respect about you, what I think about our past, our present, my relationship goals, our future, and my concluding sentiments. And this will be available to my alchemists and also on my Vimeo channel. <laughs>